like we have a material body the soul is spiritual so there is a material world and the spiritual world so this world where we live in is material world because we have to die and we are not this body so we are not supposed to be actually part of this material world we are supposed to be the part of the spiritual world where god lives although god is everywhere but there is a particular place where the lord lives it's called spiritual world and in the vedas it's called vaikunt ve means no kunt means problem where there is no problem so in this material world what are the problems janam mrityu jara vyadi dukh doshanu darshanam the lord is saying in the bhagavad gita there is birth disease old age and death if you take a body you will have these problems so material body has birth disease old age death that's why the scriptures say that after you finish this business of body come back to the lord okay come back to godhead so you'll be very happy because there is no birth no old age no disease okay where in the spiritual world because you are in the spiritual platform the soul has no birth no disease no old age and no death clear so this material world many times is called a place of misery so many times when we discuss this people say then why what will we do we will do nothing in this material world no because we've got a material body we have to do material activities by the same time we have to prepare for our spiritual journey so this human body is special why because we can ask who are we why are we suffering why are we dying i don't want to get old why am i getting old i don't want to die but why am i dying isn't it we don't want to die we don't want to get old because we are souls and we don't actually grow old we don't die our nature is to always be happy always be healthy be eternal but we are put into this body so we have this problem so we are in an you can say a foreign situation this is not natural for a soul to be entrapped in the body we are supposed to be inhabitants of the spiritual world but somehow we are there in the material world so now we have to be use this material body intelligently to complete our material activities also and plan for our spiritual activities the human being that doesn't plan for his spiritual thing a spiritual life is considered failure according to the scriptures because if you just do eating sleeping mating and defending even a dog on the road is doing eating sleeping mating defending he may be doing on the road we may be doing in an apartment but the thing is the same they we might say we are eating better but sometimes we have stomach problem so some animals may not even have stomach problem it's not it's not that their enjoyment is less they may sleep properly but we might have some discomfort in sleeping so it is not that animals are not enjoying we are enjoying no the activities are the same eating sleeping mating defending the only difference between an animal and a man is that man can plan his spiritual life ask questions spiritual about spirit otherwise he is considered no better than a animal so the scriptures give us this knowledge that you plan for both material life and spiritual life that is real intelligence that's why lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita vasamsi jinnani yatha vihai navani grinati naro parani tatha sharirani vihai jinnani anyani samyani navani deh as we change clothes similarly the soul changes body so this time we might die but the soul will take another body so do you lament when you when your shirt gets torn you change it you take a new shirt so that's not a big problem so similarly when you have knowledge you are a soul you know that you cannot die so when even the death comes you are not disturbed okay that means i'll take another body it could be a better body a king's body so why lament so when you have knowledge you are not actually afraid of death you are not afraid of old age you are not afraid of disease because you've taken millions of bodies scriptures say 
दुर्लभ मानव जन्म इट यू गेट दिस ह्यूमन लाइफ आफ्टर एटी फोर लैक स्पीशीज टेक इन लॉर्ड ऑफ बॉडीज नाउ यू कम टू ह्यूमन बॉडी इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू रियलाइज that where am i who am i why have i come to this world why the lord has created this material world why have i taken this material body so these are very intelligent questions that every human being should ask but unfortunately they don't ask that's why there's so much of confusion suffering depression so along with temporary happiness we have to search for eternal happiness that's what will actually make us really happy even if we fail materially you still are a winner isn't it if you are healthy you lose your car you still okay but if you, you lose yourself even if you have a mercedes benz whatever so so you in the bible it is said what profiteth a man at the loss of his soul what is the profit if you lose the, your soul ha huh? what is the profit ha huh? isn't it so if you don't understand about your soul don't realize your soul don't come to the level of soul what is the use what did you do where did you use your intelligence just like the animals you are competing with the animals so it's very important for us to understand who we are who is god our relationship with god what is this material world the nature of this material world and what is the spiritual world the scriptures say the spiritual world is a place where there is no misery you you always very happy you are in association with god who is your eternal father there is no birth no disease no old age no death no corona no problems because that the place is called vaikuntha no problem place of no problem and that's what's our nature as our nature is to be always be happy so while we are there in this material world people say okay you are talking about spiritual world after dying we can go but what about this material world but if you are in spiritual knowledge even if you are in this material body you will be very happy because you are in knowledge you can understand what is happening what is not happening so lord has made the world and he is giving a manual this is this bhagavad gita is a manual operating manual you can say or living manual like you have a tv you have a operating manual you have a car operating manual the lord made this world and he is giving you a operating manual how to live perfectly so we should at least try to read this book and then when you associate with devotees when you read higher scriptures you come to know a lot of things and you'll always and you'll really be very happy because i it's my experiences i thought okay we when we go to the iskon temple we read the scriptures we'll have some knowledge but beyond knowledge you come to know who the lord is how much he loves us and when you know these things and when you practice spirituality when you chant when you sing when you eat the prasad the bhoga offered to the lord you feel so blessed you can realize his presence 